while we're waiting, let me know who's here. Um, tell me where you're tuning in from and uh, your name if you want. Um, can you hear me okay? If you guys could let me know, that'd be awesome. Looks like we're about to go live on Facebook in a second, as long as everything's working okay. Sorry, I have a cold, so I'm a little sniffly. Um, and there might be cats running around as well. Let's see, let's just make sure we're, okay, it looks like we're working, so I'm gonna turn this off. Um, maybe not, maybe I'll just mute it. All right, Garrett, can, um, can you hear me okay? I'm kind of in a weird spot. I'm like in the corner of the kitchen in my brother's house um, here in Santa Fe, New Mexico, which is not normally where I do this from. Normally I live in Sacramento, but I'm visiting my family right now, so I'm here. And it looks like Facebook is working. Can't see comments. Not quite sure why. Is it like because I'm not in here? Give me just a sec. And those of you in on Twitter, feel free to um say hi and okay there we go um let me know where you who you are where you're tuning in from same thing for facebook say hi uh happy to see your names and locations this is caitlin uh supposedly on that i moved to a men's national director sorry i'm gonna have to keep looking back and forth i couldn't really get my phone in a good spot close to the Try to move this over a little bit. Okay, so hey everybody, um, welcome to the May 2019 live report, and we're on Facebook and we're on Twitter. Um, so again, feel free to say hey to me. I can see both um, comments, and you can ask me questions at any point during the broadcast about anything I'm saying. Or hey. <laughs> funny with Twitter I can't really tell names but hey person from Charlotte North Carolina nice to see you um, and uh, you can ask me questions at any point and Garrett our online communications coordinator is helping um, me as well posting links to uh, things I reference and also with any follow-up and if you're tuning into the recording and not live you can still ask questions um, tweet us or uh, you can um, post your comments in the Facebook video and uh, we will answer them as soon as we can. And a reminder that we always give away a couple prizes. I'm really excited that this month and maybe going forward from now on or at least for the near foreseeable future we will be able to give away t-shirts. We have t-shirts. It's been a long time coming. Um, there's lots of reasons why it was a long time coming, but um, we have them now. So we found a printer who can print shirts that we're happy with the quality on demand so we don't have to have a million of them in my garage. And so um, we'll be giving away two shirts, one to a Twitter person and one to a Facebook person. The way to get eligible to get one of those shirts is to share this live feed with the hashtag move to amend move to amend, um, and uh, we'll pick two folks, one from Twitter and one from Facebook, who share um, this feed using that hashtag. So make sure you do it right now and invite your friends to come and join us. So let's see. Um, still can't totally see everybody who's here on Facebook, but that's okay. I'm just not going to worry about it. If Again, if you've got a question, um, uh, then please ask it and uh, we'll be happy to answer um, live and if you're listening to the recording we'll answer you as soon as we can so we're here on the last Wednesday of every month at 5 o'clock Pacific on Facebook live and Twitter too and also um, if you want to follow me personally on Twitter uh, it's my handle is Caitlin K-A-I-T-L-I-N underscore S-B I just started using Twitter this year, so I'm like trying to push it. Um, but I'm excited. Uh, Jared told me I should brag that I have over 9,000 followers as of this week. So yay, <laughs> go me. So thanks to everybody who um, I'm connecting with on Twitter. I'm enjoying that very much. And also I wanna mention 
that um, me and some other folks are trying to get a hashtag hate my insurance trending because um, there's been some conversation about how uh, the there is no need for Medicare for all because everyone loves their private insurance. A couple of presidential candidates have said such. That's not my experience. I don't have private insurance right now, but back when I did, um, it was still always a hassle, even though uh, my partner uh, worked for a union, um, and so we had great insurance. That's one of the only professions that actually has really good insurance, and um, we still had to argue about stuff and um, uh, you know push back on things and make sure things were covered. So uh, there have been tons of people who have tweeted me stories of why they hate their insurance. And if you've got any like that, from the mundane to, you know, like life and death situations of stuff that hasn't been covered, people who have, you know, committed suicide because they didn't want their families to be burdened with the debt. I mean, it's awful. So we need to get the message out that um, our private insurance is by and large not working. And if people like it, great, but a lot of people don't. And a lot of us don't even have insurance. And you can also use the hashtag hate my insurance to talk about that. So feel free to help with that. Um, that's a little side project uh, that I am taking this opportunity to use. And again, reminder, if you share this stream, um, retweet this live feed with hashtag move to amend on Twitter and um, just share it on your own wall um, with hashtag move to amend on Facebook and we will give a t-shirt to one on each one of the platforms, um, one person who does that at the end. So um, stay tuned for that and make sure you share to be eligible. So let's jump in to the report from the month. Um, first of all, we always do an update on the We the People Amendment update. So I know that we've got a lot of people on Twitter who don't necessarily know as much about us. So um, just a reminder that Move to Amend is a national campaign working to amend the U.S. Constitution to make clear that only human beings have constitutional rights, not corporations or other artificial entities, and also that money is not speech so that we can regulate campaign spending. So uh, the We the People Amendment is our amendment that we wrote many years ago at this point. It has been reintroduced in this Congress back in February. Our new lead as of this year is Pramila Jayapal of Washington State. And um, we picked up several new co-sponsors this month. Um, Ed Perlmutter from Colorado, Denny Heck from Washington, Joe Kennedy from Massachusetts, Ayanna Presley from Massachusetts, James McGovern from Massachusetts, Mike Thompson from California. I just have to take a moment to pause on that one because <laughs> Mike Thompson was my former congressman, then they changed the district lines and so he wasn't, and then I also moved. But, um, We've been working on Mike Thompson for five years, and uh, I'm really excited that we finally got him. He's also a blue dog, which is, as folks may know, one of the conservative Democratic caucuses. Um, so just goes to show that uh, it's not all just the um, flaming radicals who are supporting this measure. Um, so uh, I'm excited that we got Mike Thompson, and shout out to the folks in Sonoma County, Move to Amend, who helped secure that and make it happen. I met with his office many times in Washington, D.C. Folks in Mendocino County met with his um, local office and in Lake County and then um, the folks in Sonoma who have a new affiliate, which is what we call our local chapters, got it done um, this month. So super exciting. And then Angie Craig um, from Minnesota and Kim Schreier from Washington. Both of them are two new reps. So um, how many is that? Three, six, eight new co-sponsors uh, this month. So that brings us to a total of 46 so far. And our goal this year is 75 and we're over halfway there and it's already May. So, uh, or it's only May, it's not halfway through the year yet, just about, um, but we're over halfway there. So it's amazing. And you can see a full list of who are the co-sponsors um, by going to congress.gov and um, we also have a photo album on Facebook with a link to every single person who is a co-sponsor and you can um, tweet them or uh, tag them on Facebook to thank them um, for coming on. Also, Garrett, it'd be awesome if you could share that one-click politics link. So if your rep is not yet a co-sponsor, we have um, an easy way for you to send them a message and ask them to join as well. So please um, follow that link and send a message and then 
Um, it's after hours now, so not the best time, but maybe tomorrow, make a phone call and uh, ask them to um, co-sponsor House Joint Resolution 48. So, um, let's see, what else did we want to say here? Uh, we actually have still a lot of folks who um, were co-sponsors last Congress. So every new Congress, everybody needs to come back on. The bill needs to be reintroduced, and then everyone needs to sign back on. So I forget what the number is, but it's over a dozen folks, um, maybe even be closer to 20 people who were co-sponsors last year and who are not yet back. So we still have a good amount of work to do, even though we're making good progress and we've had a really good month here um, with eight new folks. We still are a little bit frustrated that we haven't been able to bring on all those all those um, old folks and the number of people who took our pledge to amend, um, which means that when they ran for office, they committed that they would co-sponsor and then they haven't yet. So Mike Thompson, the guy I mentioned earlier, he was one of the ones who took that pledge and then didn't deliver. So we still have work to do on those folks as well. So um, your calls are important, uh, your emails are important too, but your phone calls make the biggest difference. So please um, help us out. And then also if you live in well, Washington, we almost have all of the, um, at least Democrats, there's one left and then there's a couple of Republicans, but California and Washington, we've, we pass ballot initiatives um, in those two states and every single member of the delegation of those states should also be co-sponsored because the voters have already told them what to do. And that's true um, for a number of initiatives that we've passed in Ohio. Same thing with Montana's rep should be on, Colorado and uh, in Wisconsin. Um, so in Ohio and Wisconsin, we haven't passed state level ballot initiatives, but we have passed a number of initiatives. In fact, most of the population of Wisconsin have live in communities that have passed resolutions calling for the amendment. So there's no excuse for any of the representatives from those states to not already be co-sponsors. So if you live in those states, it's especially important that you get on them. But true of everywhere, Democrats, Republicans, this is a nonpartisan issue. It resonates across the board. And so um, it would be really great if everybody could help us uh, get another eight or double that uh, in June. Um, let's see, what else is on our list here? Just want to make sure. Okay, it's on there later. All right. Uh, okay, let's get that. So, um, for folks who were tuning in to our social media yesterday, or maybe some of you who are listening participated in our Free the People action, so this is the first time we did this. Uh, we kicked off um, actions in offices, uh, district offices of Congress members um, from Florida to Ohio, California to Washington, Arizona, and more. Um, we held rallies outside their offices, and then we went in and had lobby meetings to try and win them over. So we did that in dozens of different um, offices, and, uh, you know, we're still kind of learning what the results are and um, hopefully this will secure us a number of new co-sponsors as well. We have a bunch of photos and videos up on all of our social media platforms from yesterday and we've still got some coming in today so um, we'll put those up too. And like I said, this is just the first in a series of, we're trying to really escalate this year. You know, next year, sorry, I'm in this really uncomfortable spot um, with, in the corner of the kitchen here, so just adjusting. Um, so we're going into a really big election here. Every single member of the House of Representatives is you know, up for election every two years. And then obviously it's a presidential election year. The number of senators are up too. So um, we are wanting to really escalate and ramp up. And so our actions yesterday were the first in a series of escalations. Um, Next, we will be in Washington, D.C., and hopefully a number of you will join us there. We have a conference that we do every year. We call it our National Leadership Summit, and um, we will be doing a lobby day on the last day of that conference. So it's June 21st through 24th in Washington, D.C., and June 24th is the lobby day. So um, it's best if you can come to the whole conference. It's always a really good conference. Um, we're grassroots and scrappy, but uh, we take um, political education and organizing very seriously. So uh, there's lots to learn at our summits every single time. And then um, we'll do a lobby day in DC. And you know, you can you can definitely lobby from home. Uh, we um, 
you know, that's what we did yesterday with these free the people actions. But uh, there's nothing that really gets their attention as much as when you actually travel to DC. Now, that's not something that everyone can do, but that's part of why we make it a really affordable conference to make it as accessible as possible. You know, there's no question that it's still a cost to travel, but that's part of what really impresses them and gets their attention. Like we, um, you know, that people come all the way uh, down to the Capitol in order to make the case. And so um, it's fun, it's exciting. Um, if you've never done it before, we'll train you before you go in. I haven't had a single person say that it wasn't empowering, um, which is, you know, kind of hard to imagine in some ways because it feels like we're just these little, little people that um, have no sway compared to the big dollars. And of course, in some ways that is true, but at the end of the day, they still work for us and that's always true. So um, we need to make sure they know that. So that's what yesterday was about. Um, and again, you can check out the videos and um, photos on our Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Um, we even did a freeway banner uh, action on Highway 50 in Sacramento. So um, you can check that out as well. We, we were out there, not me, I'm here in New Mexico, but at 7.30 in the morning, um, getting the rush hour traffic. And we'll continue to give updates as um, they come in and reports and certainly let folks know how we do and if we pick up any new co-sponsors as a result of those actions. It's looking like we're going to do another Free the People in District um, day of action in August, looking like maybe August 28th. That's not 100% for sure yet, so don't totally quote me on that. But um, that August is the month that everybody uh, goes home from DC and is in district and so hopefully we'll be able to meet with some representatives themselves not just their staff and um, That'll give us a couple months to prepare and get ready. So um, Stay tuned for that and if you would like to get involved and do an action if you missed us this time you can go to move to amend.org slash free the people and see the gist of you know what these actions look like it's basically a rally outside of congressional offices and then um, going in for a meeting. And uh, we do support along the way and all that. So um, the main thing that we want to give a shout out to our affiliates, we always do that every month. Actually, let me pause for a sec, I, should, I forgot. Um, sorry, I have a cold also, so hopefully I'm understandable. I'm definitely stuffed up. Um, but I should remind you all that we are giving away two t-shirts at the end of this um, broadcast will be um, one on Twitter and one on Facebook. And the way that you can be eligible to win one of those t-shirts, it's just our Move to Men t-shirt with our logo, brand new, we just got them, um, is share this feed, retweet this um, live stream with the hashtag Move to Amend on Twitter. And then on Facebook, share it with the hashtag Move to Amend on your wall. And um, we'll pick one person from each of the platforms to get a t-shirt. So don't miss out on that. Please do that and invite your friends to come join me here. And again, anytime you've got questions, feel free to stick them in the comments or tweet them at that at me, us, and um, I'll cover those at the end, but ask me anytime about anything that I'm saying here or um, anything in general that you wanna know about Move to Amend. Um, all right, so then I wanna shout out a few of our local folks. So like I said at the beginning, we have what we call affiliates. Those are our chapters. We have them all over the country. They're um, led by local grassroots volunteers uh, who are putting their sweat equity in pretty much daily on this. Sorry. Um, so I uh, want to shout out the folks in Greater Dayton Move to Amend, where they had an action planned um, to target Warren Davidson, but they had to cancel because of an insane tornado that injured um, almost... Uh, I think a hundred people and knocked out power for 50,000 people and one person died. So I'm glad that everyone from our Dayton Move to Amend group is okay. Totally understandable that you had to cancel, um, but we know that you will follow up and we are keeping Dayton in, in our thoughts as you begin to recover from the damage and just a reminder that these storms as a result of climate change um, are increasingly affecting more and more and more and more of us. Um, also, our folks in Cleveland um, went ahead with their event, even though they had torrential downpour, they actually had to move 
um, their <laughs> rally to a nearby restaurant because it was just impossible to be outside. Um, folks in uh, Lower Bucks, Pennsylvania went ahead with their um, action targeting their congressperson, Prescott, Arizona. Um, folks in Washington State, uh, a number of folks held thank you rallies for some of our new co-sponsors, so folks in the Twin Cities um, did that, and uh, same thing with a couple of the spots in California, and then we also, um, shout out to Sacramento Move to Amend that did a great action targeting Ami Barra, who's a long time coming, and hopefully we can get him soon, a Democrat who took our pledge to amend years ago and keeps on doing it every time he runs for office, but then not delivering. So um, they were at his office, and I might be missing some of our affiliates who did action. So shout out to everybody. Um, thanks for your really good work. And as we're um, gearing up for the summer season, a reminder to everyone that this is a really good time to go out and petition. So we use the Move to Amend petition as an organizing tool. Whenever we go and meet with your Congress member, we bring a list of everybody who has signed the petition in their district. So it's important that you sign the motion to amend if you haven't yet. If Garrett, if you could include the link, it's movetoamend.org slash motion or slash join. We'll also go to the same page. Make sure you sign that petition. And then um, you can also bring that with you anytime you're at, you know, community meetings, political meetings. A lot of folks are going to presidential candidate rallies, and so we really want um, folks to be bringing the petition there and then bird-dogging these candidates, getting them on record where they stand on the We the People Amendment, not just money in politics, but specifically the We the People Amendment as legislation that is in Congress right now that they should all be supporting. Um, and then, of course, going to, like, farmer's markets and standing outside the library on an ace day, um, all of that. So, um if you go to move to amend.org slash petition, you can um, download it and there's instructions for how to get it back to us. You can use a paper version or people can text to sign as well. So what's coming up? Um, our outreach director, Greg Coleridge, will be in Chicago next week, um, June 5th through 9th. So um, I'll actually looks like specifically we're talking about um, Chicago. Let's see in Lincoln Park on Thursday, uh, June 6th, and then Oak Park on Saturday. And I think he'll be back in Peoria as well, although that's not on my list. So if you go to move to amend.org slash barnstorming, you can see um, all of the upcoming events. And if you'd like to bring us to your community, then um, please let us know. Uh, later this month, um, Actually, probably, where, where are we? Uh, not next week, but the week after. I'll be leaving here in New Mexico and driving to Washington, D.C. and staying there for a couple months to really hunker down and focus on Move to Amend in Congress. And um, I'd also be happy to meet with folks who are in the mid-Atlantic area um, and want to get started with an affiliate. So again, um, barnstorming at movetoamend.org is the email address to contact our outreach coordinator, Millie. And... Um, We'd love to connect with you when Greg's in Chicago in June and then and, and when I'm in, in the DC, greater DC area um, and, uh, you know, Virginia, um, Maryland, all of that. So um, let's see. And then I already mentioned this, but everyone is invited to come to our leadership summit. Uh, this is the summer to end corporate rule. We've already held rallies all across the country on Free the People Day yesterday, and now we're going to converge on Washington, D.C., and again lobby our elected officials in the House and the Senate to sign on and become co-sponsors of the We the People Amendment and get it introduced in the Senate. So um, we're just at a, such a critical time, right? Climate change, Trumpism slash fascism, outrageous wealth inequality, collapsing economic and political systems, all of that is upon us right now. And we're gearing up for this big election next year as a country, um, which will have vast ramifications. And there are so many good policies that have been introduced in Congress, all of which like the Green New Deal to address climate change or Medicare for all to address this health care crisis that we have as a country. And yet, if we don't pass the We the People Amendment to remove corporations from our constitution, they will be able to use that our constitution against us when we pass these policies um, and say that they are unconstitutional and they violate our cons their constitutional rights. So it's really important that we... Um, connect with our Congress folks, with our leaders, 
um, who are trying to represent us as president. And just that whole conversation needs to include an understanding of corporate constitutional rights and corporate personhood. And so there's no better place to get started on that than the Leadership Summit. So we still have openings um, and folks can join us. Uh, if you go to movetoamend.org slash summit, you can get the details and we would love to see you there and meet you in person. All right, and then um, we have extended our deadline for intern applications. So you have until May 31st if you're interested in interning with us. Um, our interns are all telecommute, so you don't have to be on site in Sacramento where our main office is. We have staff all over the country and our interns are all over the country as well. We do give a small stipend to cover your costs like, um, you know, internet and phone. Um, it's about 20 to 30 hours a week, depending on the time of year and the campaigns going on. And it is a really important um, uh, opportunity to learn about how to work with a national campaign. And uh, we never give our interns boring, um, monotonous work to do without, sometimes all of us have to do that, I should say. You know, I, I do my share of data entry and spreadsheets, but um, our interns actually have um, some of the more valuable and meaningful experiences of, of any um, national um, internship program. So if you know of others who might be interested, please let them know if you go to movetoamend.org slash internships. Um, the details to apply are there. So I'm happy to answer questions. Let's see, I haven't been looking over at Facebook at all. Um, and I'm not sure I can easily see what's there. Uh, so Garrett, if there are any questions, maybe you can let me know because it looks like there's kind of a delay um, and my computer is sort of freaking out when I go over to Facebook. And then let me see what's going on. A lot of people have said a lot of random things over here in Twitter. It seems like that's part of a Twitter live feed. So um, let me skip through those. And no, I'm not a movie star. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, any real questions? Why didn't all the Dems vote for the Green New Deal? I can't speak to that exactly. Um, but uh, part of that is a matter of pressure and um, that, you know, there's a lot of our Democratic leaders are still in this old framework of believing that we can, you know, go really slow and, um, you know, cut emissions at some minuscule level and still have it work out for fossil fuel companies and uh, the planet. And that's just not true. So um, part of what we need to do is make sure that people who have that belief either change their minds or um, get rid of them because they're not serving us anymore. Um, let's see some other random stuff. What is move to a man? <laughs> Sometimes this happens on Twitter. We, we just started doing live uh, live on Twitter. So that's cool. All right. Move to amend is a national campaign to amend the U.S. Constitution to make clear that only human beings have constitutional rights, uh, not corporations or other artificial entities, and also that money is not speech so that campaign spending can be regulated. Both of those two doctrines, corporate personhood or corporate constitutional rights and money as speech were invented by the Supreme Court and corporate lawyers. And um, so there's nothing about corporations in the constitution. There's also nothing saying that the first amendment protects campaign spending, but the Supreme Court has interpreted um, both of those two things and at the detriment of basically making democracy impossible. Because anytime we pass legislation at the local, state, or federal level that corporations um, with enough money feel like uh, is a barrier to their bottom line, they can sue and get that legislation overturned. So they do it with regulation and they do it with laws. Um, and they will continue to do that until we make clear that corporations don't have constitutional rights. So at this point, corporations can exercise First Amendment rights, they can exercise Fourth Amendment rights uh, to privacy, they can exercise Fifth Amendment rights and um, make it so that local, especially local but state government as well, is on the hook for paying for future profits lost over legislation and regulation passed. Um, and then they also have Fourteenth Amendment rights, which is how they can claim that we can't discriminate between local kind of, local businesses or um, big national or multinational corporations when we're trying to uh, protect our local economies. They also have been able to get the Supreme Court to um, find that they have freedom of religion. So at this point, 
you could definitely make the argument that corporations have more rights than women do in this country <laughs> in many ways. So the only solution to this is for either the Supreme Court to reverse itself. That's never going to happen. Um, and also that's not a lasting solution to the problem or to amend the Constitution. So um, that's our campaign. Uh, it's House Joint Resolution 48 in the House. Um, as I said at the beginning, we have 46 co-sponsors and growing. And we're working on getting it introduced in the Senate as well. And uh, to pass a constitutional amendment, two-thirds of both houses of Congress have to do that, and then three-quarters of state legislatures have to ratify. So it's a long-term campaign. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but um, that is our effort. Uh, and um, looks like there's some folks here on Twitter who disagree, but I'm sorry, you're wrong. Uh, and you can find more information at movetoamend.org about the history of how this happened and what the implications are. Um, there's a lot of information in the recommended reading section. And if folks want to learn more, um, I encourage you to check it out. And then also, again, feel free to tweet us any questions that you've got or post them in the comments. Um, Garrett, I'm not seeing any, let's see, wait a minute, it's the show chat. No questions over on Facebook. So um, a reminder that we're always here on the fourth, or no, the last Wednesday of every month. Um, so next Wednesday or next month, I'll be tuning in to you. You'll be tuning in to me, um, from DC, uh, where I'll be for, uh, most of, um, June and all of July and a little bit of August. Um, so looking forward to that and giving you a report on how that goes. And I'm really excited. I'm going to be staying for, um, almost nothing at, a move to a men's supporters house who ha she has this very old kind of falling down house in the middle of the Capitol Hill neighborhood. Everything around her has been like totally gentrified and turned into condos and she's like in this like rundown place. But um, it means that she will uh, let me stay there really cheaply and I can walk to the Capitol. So that's where I will be most days. And uh, I might do some extra live reports just to keep you posted. Our winners for the t-shirts, um, congratulations to Facebook tune inner Adrian Morgado and Twitter is Crystal Dandridge. So um, if you DM us uh, your address and the size that you want, we will get a t-shirt shipped out to you ASAP. So again, um, last call for any questions that you've got. For me, I see the note about the talcum powder. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. Been in California for a number of years, but I grew up partly in Wisconsin, so I know about that humidity, and uh, that's even swampier in DC, so it's all right, I'm ready, I'm prepared. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys all next month, and it would be great to see you even before that at our summit in Washington, DC, June 21st through 24th. So again, move to amend.org slash summit. If you're, you know, there's still time to get a ticket if you're flying, but uh, especially if you're within driving or train or bus distance, please come to the summit and uh, let's meet in person and let's get you in your congressional office and working on the We the People Amendment. Thanks to Garrett for helping out with this every single month and preparing the script and fielding the questions and stuff. And it uh, looks like that's it. So I'm going to go spend some time with my doggy who is going to be put to sleep tomorrow. She's really old. She's 16. And um, so I'm going to spend my last evening with her and uh, feed my brother's cats. And it's been great speaking with you all. And again, if you're on Twitter and you want to connect with me personally, it's Caitlin, K-A-I-T-L-I-N, S underscore S-B. Um, and I'd be happy to connect with you there. And you can find me on Facebook. My name is Caitlin Saposi Belknap. I'm the only person in the world with my name, so it won't be hard to find me. 